All right, let's uh, talk a little bit here about Slambury, a Legends reunion, because one of your old tag team buddies comes back. Uh, this takes place at Philadelphia Arn Civic Center. You've been there plenty of times at the Civic Center. And believe it or not, 4,800 fans attended the event, 3,600 paid. And looking over the car, we can confidently say that was not an issue. But we do want to hit the high points of this one because Commissioner Nick Bockwinkle addresses the situation that we talked about earlier with Rick Rude in the match in Japan. Bockwinkle said that because Rude cheated to win the title, he was giving the championship back to Sting. Sting, in typical babyface fashion, Arn said he's not taking the title back that way and, and instead decided the winner of the match between him and Vader will wrestle for the international title later that night. Uh, so there you go. That's how they kind of handled that situation with Rude. But then up next, here it is, Tully Blanchard made a rare in-ring appearance, taking on Terry Funk. They fought to a double DQ after Tully kicked Nick Patrick and Funk hit Blanchard with the branding iron. This one was a fight from start to finish, Arn, and I know it's been 30 years, but this is one of Tully's handful of matches he wrestled after retiring from the ring. Do you remember the situation and the circumstance of him coming back for this one-off appearance or any memories from that night in Philadelphia? Nothing. No. Okay. No worries. Uh, you know, I just... There's probably a number of negative reasons that I don't remember it. I probably had some attitude where that was concerned uh, and didn't watch it purposely gotcha. because, because of that. And that's on me. That's uh, it's no way for a grown man to act, but you know, very seldom did I have a negative attitude about anything in, in my tenure in the business. I tried to make, either something that was negative into a positive or I tried to take the negative stuff and at least groom it and disguise it and make it come across as being uh, positive, even if I didn't feel that way. I have no recollection, which means I didn't watch it. And so, yeah, no. Hey, man, I appreciate your honesty there. Um, if you think about it, this is May 94, you would have last seen him, what then, 1990? When you came back to WCW and he didn't pass the... Yeah, well, probably the last time I would have seen him would have been... Whew, he wasn't in... They, he had went home about six weeks before Survivor Series, was it? Okay, yeah, so that was 89. Survivor. Yeah, all right, we, turned, so we turned in our notice, and about six weeks in, he had his issues with uh, uh, private stuff, and they sent him home six weeks early, and I finished on out my three-month notice. So I don't Four know. Four and a half I, years. Yeah. yeah I hadn't, no, I hadn't laid eyes on him. Yeah. Drew Landry had asked. He said, do you remember if you exchanged words? Drew, no, they didn't. And uh, it's been about four and a half years, right at, around that Survivor Series. And and you, and to your point, you don't even think you saw him that night. You didn't go out of your way to even see him that night, right? No, probably knowing me and being, you know, again, it was it's not a way that grown men at, should act. I probably have made sure that I avoided him 